All right, here we are in a beautiful Dana Point afternoon looking at a very nice 1944 Deluxe Convertible Resto Rod. Very nicely done car. We're going to rock around and tell you about, you know, what we know and like we always do. Love my gig. The beach air is nice out here today. Been down here in the beach areas in so Southern California. Anyway, it's an all steel 1940 Deluxe Convertible. The owner bought this car pretty much as a street rod a few years back and then totally went through it mechanically so he could go do deuce days up in Canada and then the car ended up not being done in time to do the run but his whole thought was to build it to where it could be driven and it's definitely that. Underneath the hood it's got an all new powertrain. It has uh, a GM uh, 350 crate engine in it. We'll get in more detail as we get underneath the hood. It has a 200R4 automatic overdrive transmission has a Ford 9 inch rear differential in the back. Uh, wheel wood disc brakes up front, fully independent front suspension. Got a mouthful out there, didn't I? Anyway, finished in a very nice bright red. Um, and of course, when they did the full mechanical once over, he had a very nice high end leather interior put in it. So basically, he freshened up a very good resto rod before and spent quite a bit of dough on her. Anyway, bright red, almost looks along the lines of a GM or a Dodge Viper red. It's beautiful color. The finish is a base coat, clear coat. You could pick it for a couple little touch-ups here and there, but overall it's a very straight body and it is all steel. You can kind of get some reflections in the paint there as we're down here. Get down here and let you take a closer look. All the bright work's nicely done. They even put a wheel on the front end for the chin that uh, typically likes to hit in the driveways. All the bright work's done nice. Here's, here's a little spot that could use, just a little tiny spot right there. But, you know, I'm being overly picky. If you're looking for a car that you want to drive, everywhere you go, people are going to walk up and say, wow, that's a beauty. It is a beauty. Uh, has uh, Halibrand style, I think they're reproduction Halibrand wheels, kidney bean style wheels with the faux knockoffs. Straight body, the fit of the hood's nice up front here. It does have a power top. If you hang on to the video, we're actually going to cover that for you. Uh, has visors, actually has a uh, vanity mirror for the uh, passenger over here. Italian leather interior, we're going to give you a peek here. All the dash and everything was refinished and matched to the exterior finish on the car. Beautiful dash, uh, classic instruments, we'll get around to the other side and talk about that. Has vintage air conditioning, all new vents and controls. This is a very, done by Howard McKee. The leather interior is very nice. I like the tan Italian leather with the black stitching. It's kind of a nice touch. Has a glide engineering seat. Has a seat belts front and rear. And again, we'll put the top up for you. It's a power top. Kind of give you a feel there, and you can tell that's real leather. Glide engineering receipt. So this seat backs recline forward and aft, you know, like they should. Factory style running boards, hand cooked tires. Power windows. I know I'll miss something, so go to Spud's Garage where we'll have a nice list. This door's shut nice. These convertibles are uh, I'm one finger shutting that. Getting those doors to fit right and shut right is an art when it comes to a convertible. Out back here it has nice factory trim on it. Factory style tail lights. These are LED tail lights. Has a nice gravel shield on the back uh, bumper, which you don't often see on these cars. Guys don't bother to do it, but it's a nice touch. Trunk is finished like the interior of the car. The 40 license plate, if it stays in California, can go with the car. If it goes out of state, it will not. Kind of give you a peek from the back side here. He's put about 3,000 miles on all the mechanical upgrade. Basically, everything was went through, all the bushings. A whole new wiring system. Optima battery has been relocated in the trunk. When we get underneath the hood, you'll see some of the wiring on it. Pretty car. Inside, he kept it a, a true resto rod kind of feel. Um, these are these are classic instruments gauges, which are uh, made to appear as though they're factory, but they're made to work with the powertrain that's in this car. Factory style steering column, steering wheel. Uh, converted to an automatic here, which is kind of nice with the automatic overdrive. It has an indicator. Indicator.
give you a feel there. It has an audio system. You'll see the speakers are here in the back kick panels um, and the forward kick panels. It actually has some tweets also. You'll see them down there on the passenger side. All updated modern wiring. Take a look at that. Carpet in here is kind of cool. I like it. I like the color. I like the two-tone part of it. The speckled feel. Um, 3,541 miles since the time it was put all back together. All new powertrain and all that stuff. All the dash controls are here. Like I said the audio system is a, a remote here, CD capable. Wow, heck, we'll fire this thing up. Turn it on, just turn it on like a factory. It has a locking steering column. I didn't even touch the gas, four barrel V8. Gauges all work, fuel tank, half tank, new stainless tank in the back, oil pressure is about 50. It's got a full, you can adjust the rheostat so the cooling fans come on when you want them to a little bit earlier or something like that. Volt gauge is working, reading 14 volts. Get out and let you hear it run here. We're thinking it's about time we tell you to get in and hang on to the end of the video like I always say. Have a great day. Alright, let's get you underneath the hood, my favorite part. Nicely detailed. This is a great looking little convertible. Underneath the hood here is a GM uh, 350 crate engine. When they received the crate engine, they actually wanted to upgrade the valve train in a little bit, so they went to a uh, uh, full roller valve train, roller rockers, roller lifters, so it's been totally upgraded as far as the valve train goes. They did dyno it uh, on an engine dyno at 310 horsepower. I think from the factory it was rated at 330. Of course you know how that goes. Uh, anyway, bottom line is it uh, pushed out 310 horsepower and it was cold and it was ran on the engine stand. Uh, transmissions a Art Car 200R4 automatic overdrive. It has a uh, Ford 9-inch rear differential with 350 ratio, which is perfect, which means this thing's a great highway driver. That's what he built it for, to run up to do stays. All the wiring's done nice here. Very nicely done uh, upgrade on the full mechanical system of this car. It has power steering. It has a billet belt drive system on it. It has a R134 vintage air conditioning on it. Billet pulleys. Has an electric uh, cooling components, electric cooling fan on it. We'll actually have a spec sheet at Spud's Garage like we usually do. Mechanical fuel pump down here. Holly four barrel carburetor. It has a uh, Petronics distributor in it. AC and heat. There's the heater lines that go into there. Sanderson uh, cast exhaust manifolds. We're thinking you get the idea. We'll fire this thing up here for you in just a little minute and hear it run. It's got plenty of horsepower for the car. That's for sure. Good looker underneath the hood. Hang on for more. We'll cover more. At, hang on to the end of the video. All right, we thought we'd let you hear it run here like we talked about. Actually has dual electric cooling fans that come on automatically. Hang on to the end of the video. All right, we're going to power up the top here for you. All reworked hydroelectric, hydraulic electric, hydroelectric. Very easy. Nice. Kind of give you a feel of the top here. The soft canvas. Kind of like a Mercedes cloth. Glass back window. We'll 
snap it down and take a couple shots make sure you go to Spud's garage all right we'll get you in the trunk here very high-end uh, carpet and interior in this car and it follows all the way to the trunk very nicely done it's trimmed out nice I actually like this carpet it's kind of a cool look to it everybody just puts a tan or a brown or something in. it's got a good look and feel to it a lot of extra storage here in the back here it also has the tool wells in the back I'm not going to take them all the way out for you it's just I don't want to tear the carpet up here but uh, these uh, plywood boards come up and it goes into the tool well batteries in the trunk there relocated to the trunk there you go all right we'll get the undercarriage here done for you nicely done this car had a fresh mechanical once over on the undercarriage on it as uh, all new leaf springs in the back parallel leaf springs uh, TCI components stainless steel fuel tank that's either been powder coated or finished in a matte black it has uh, Bilstein shocks on all four corners dual exhaust Ford 9 inch rear differential with uh, uh, 350 gear ratio I'll get it out this is the hardest part for me kind of give you a good solid car no rust issues um, did the mechanical once over talked about that during the walk around built it to do a long trip has a 700 or 200 r4 art car automatic overdrive transmission in it up front it has uh, well it has drum brakes in the rear has power drum disc in the front it's got uh, Willwood disc brakes Corvette master cylinder tubular control arms fully independent IFS front suspension good riding car definitely can you drive it's been driven 30 about 3500 miles since it was complete kind of give you a feel here these cars are notorious for damaging the uh, chin on the front because it's so low this customer went all the way to put a wheel on it you'll see it right here prevents it from getting damaged even though it does have a little mark on it right there driveways can be rough on those they're low has uh, hand cooked tires on it kidney bean Halibrand style wheels P185 65 R 15s all the rubbers uh, fairly newer on it so no issues that way has power steering rack and pinion power steering nicely uh, detailed good little uh, resto rod style Ford convertible again parallel leaf springs Bilstein shocks all the way around Willwood disc up front in the back here 225 70 R15s again Hankook tires these are faux knockoffs anyway we think you get the idea go to spudsgarage.com where you'll find plenty more have a great day all right he's firing it up and taking it back to his garage could be going to your garage you want to make sure you go to spuds garage and thanks for hanging on to the end of the video have a great day